Okay, everybody. You can hear me anyway. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our first ever Juvenile Awards Night. Um, I'll start off just by going through what's going to happen tonight. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how the award winners have been selected. Um, then we'll go on and we'll do the best newcomer for 2007. The most dedicated cricketer for 2007. We call up all the guys who represented um, Leinster teams and Irish teams this year. Then we'll have the under 11s. A couple of presentations to give out there. And obviously the player of the year. Same with the under 13s, under 15s, 17s, 19s. Then there's just a couple of things I want to announce from the club's point of view. What's happening in the club. And then we'll do the a big prize for the night, the player of the year for 2007. So that's pretty much the way it's going to go. Okay. Keep going, to the award winners. Keep Okay. How the award winners were selected. This was very thorough and we looked into all the statistics on all the players who were possibly in contention for this prize. So we didn't just pick names out of a hat. We thought about it long and hard. Myself, Joey and Reinhard um, were responsible for picking the winners. So if you have any problems, you can come and talk to us afterwards. Um, firstly, obviously the performances from the players on their underage teams. Secondly, performances on other, on other underage teams within the club. Performances with senior club teams, so if guys were playing for four seconds, towards fourths or fifths. Then performances with representative teams, how guys did with Leinster and Ireland if they represented Ireland. And lastly, but very importantly, um, was the player's dedication, their attitude all the time, and their training attendances. So all of these um, factors was how we ended up coming up with the award winners tonight. So the first prize we have tonight is for the best newcomer for... 2007. We had a lot of guys who just started this year for the first year, and I'd just like to um, say well done to all of those guys. Everybody I thought did really well. And um, I have to give one special mention to Andrew Harford, who. No, you're. No, you're <laughs> I just want to give you a special mention. Um, Andrew did extremely well, I thought, in his first ever ball he bowled in a cricket game, he managed to take a wicket. Also in the same game, the first ever ball he faced in the cricket match, he hit for four. So I reckon... I reckon Andrew should have retired after that because it doesn't really get much better than that. So well done, Andrew. But there was heaps of guys in the club in their first year um, and they all did really well. There was a lot of under 11s. We've had a lot of new kids come and join. Some of them haven't played yet because they're, they're still too young, but they will play in the future. So they all did really well. In the end, the prize for best newcomer that don't go is being presented by Andre Bautis. So Andre, could you please come up and... Oh, I'd just like to say, actually, before I go on is... There's eight awards tonight, and all of these awards have been sponsored by um, some of the club's most successful cricketers. Seven of the awards are sponsored by guys in the club who have won four all Ireland titles, and they had no problems when I asked them would they sponsor a trophy. It's a perpetual trophy which will have to be given back every year, so the winners can inscribe their name on it, it will stay there forever, and hopefully these awards will go, these set of awards will go on for about 20 years and then we'll become part of uh, Cricket Club history. So um, thanks to the guys for sponsoring the awards. Andre, could you come up please and give the award? Now the first award for the night is going to... 
Read, read Paul's, Paul's handwriting. handwriting. Ryan, Ryan Richardson. Richardson. Congratulations, Ryan. Um, Ryan got 